In the near future, Europe has fallen victim to an apocalyptic catastrophe, leaving only a handful of survivors behind. There's a mysterious force around capable of manipulating people into ending things for themselves, and this force is spreading through the whole world. In a skating rink in Barcelona, Sebastian and his daughter Anna are seeking refuge and taking a moment to have some fun together. However they suddenly hear a noise and begin running away. When they take a sudden turn in a corridor, Sebastian is hit by a group of blind people and falls to the ground. After hitting Sebastian a couple of times, the group takes his bag with supplies and leaves. Sebastian finds a broken bottle on the ground and considers using it to defend himself, but Anna tells him not to do it. Afterward, the duo covers his eyes and comes out of the building, finding the streets destroyed and full of bodies as usual. After some walking they come across a group of fellow survivors, so Sebastian tells Anna to hide before asking the group if they can join them. The group is worried that Sebastian could pose a threat to their safety, so Sebastian explains he used to be a construction engineer, claiming that he knows where to find generators that can provide light and indoor heating, this gets him to join the group. The party takes Sebastian to a bus station where they're hiding with other survivors and meets Liliana, a doctor who tends to his injuries. Later over dinner, he also meets a guy who stitched his own eyes for protection and for his own sanity, and he shares a story of the horrible things he's seen people do while being under the effects of the entity. This guy reveals that while most people fear the entity, others remain unaffected and possess the ability to wander around the city without the need for blindfolds, these people are known as the seers. However those who are not immune to this become targeted and killed by those seers. After dinner, all the people fall asleep inside the bus and Sebastian sees an opportunity. He sneaks around and steals all the keys from the office, then he starts trying them all out on the bus. Liliana is woken up by the noise and tries to stop him, but Sebastian locks the driver's door and says he's doing this to free them all. When he finally finds the right keys, he begins driving the bus rather clumsily all over the station, waking the group up. The other survivors force the door open and begin attacking Sebastian to make him stop, but this only makes him drive worse and eventually he crashes through the front door, making it outside only to crash again and cause the bus to flip. As soon as Sebastian crawls out of the bus, he says the entity is coming and calls it beautiful. The first guy is taken by surprise and when he sees the entity, he immediately ends things for himself, and Sebastian sees how a light leaves his body. Liliana and the others come out with their eyes closed, but Sebastian immediately forces them to open them to look at the entity. Using different violent methods, one by one all the survivors except Sebastian proceed to end things for themselves. Sebastian watches how glowing lights leave their bodies and ascend to heaven while suddenly Anna shows up again and holds her dad's hand, saying it's fine because he's saved them. Suddenly there's a flashback to nine months earlier when Barcelona first succumbed to the attack of this unknown entity. Sebastian had been in the middle of work when he got a call with the alert, and people in the office were already ending things for themselves without a warning. His wife called him to ask him to pick up Anna from school, so Sebastian ran to the streets, where people were fleeing desperately for their lives in utter panic and chaos. When he ran to the subway station, Sebastian noticed lots of hurt people and at that moment, objects began floating around him. Sensing something is wrong, Sebastian ran away while people fell victim to the entity's power. Then Sebastian returned to the streets, where a building exploded. Eventually he made it to the school, where he found a dead nun on a desk and all the girls backing away in fear. Sebastian found Anna and they ran away together, but when they made it to the entrance, something outside exploded and started a fire. The duo tried to leave through the school chapel instead and bumped into the school's pastor Esteban. This pastor believed that the entity was an angel, and its divine presence made it impossible for people to look at it. In order to prevent further suffering, Esteban suggested that humanity should be freed from the confines of life itself. This notion profoundly affected Sebastian. Next, Sebastian covered Anna with his jacket and ran to their apartment building, only to see Anna's mom crossing the street and getting run over by a car. Back in the present, Sebastian and Anna stop at the church for a quick prayer, and Sebastian sees a painting move, confirming he's a seer that is so delusional that he sees things and thinks killing people through the entity means he's saving their souls. When the duo returns to the streets, they encounter people ending things for themselves again, and Sebastian tells them the entity is beautiful angels before watching the glowing lights leave their bodies. Sometime later, Sebastian sees a woman entering a store. He tries to sneak around to attack her, but suddenly some dogs attack Sebastian first, revealing a whole group of survivors led by the dog's owner Rafa. The group consists of Octavio, couple Roberto and Isabel, Claire, and Sophia, a young German girl that reminds him a lot of Anna. Sebastian asks to be accepted into the group and Rafa hesitates at first, but Sebastian quickly buys them over with the generator story again. When objects around them begin floating to announce the arrival of the entity, the group immediately leaves. Later they make it to their hiding place, which is an old anti-war shelter. Sebastian tells the group that he's alone although Anna continues to appear in the background, telling him he should make everyone come out by using the girl. Suddenly Sebastian admits he lied about the generator and a fight ensues, but Sophia cuts in to stop them because she doesn't want any more people getting hurt. 
Sebastian knows German and manages to communicate with her, learning that she got separated from her mother during their trip to Barcelona and how she had to watch lots of people die when the incident first started. Sophia also mentions having heard from a broadcast about a mountain castle that is believed to be the safest place from the entity, she also sketches a picture of the castle and a cable car that leads to it. Seeing the drawing, Isabel deduces that Sophia is referring to Montjuic. After arguing over the pros and cons, the group agrees to travel there, hoping that they'll find food and safety within the castle's walls. That night before they leave, Sebastian has a very weird nightmare about everything he's gone through. In the morning, they start making their way to Montjuic, only stopping once to get a map. Being outside again brings back another flashback, showing Sebastian eight months ago using the voice from his GPS to guide him to the hospital, where he asked for a doctor for Anna who had a fever. Suddenly things started floating, and Sebastian had to go back to the apartment without a cure. Back in the present, the group stops to rest for the night, and Sebastian continues to see Anna following them from afar. Once everyone has fallen asleep, Sebastian uses the chance to damage the dog's leash. The next morning on the streets, the group is suddenly surrounded by the entity, which uses the voice of people's lost loved ones. As everyone begins feeling confused and distracted, the leash breaks and the dogs run away. Sophia hears her mom telling her to uncover her eyes, but Octavio stops her just in time. Rafa is searching for his dogs and when he hears them crying in pain, he removes his blindfold, only to see the entity and immediately die. The dogs come to check on him and so does Roberto, only to get bitten by the animals. At that moment, Octavio finds a house they can use and blows his whistle so everyone can follow him inside. While Isabel takes care of Roberto's wound, Octavio shares his theory, he thinks the entity is a quantum being existing within a fluctuating compound and capable of reading human emotions, particularly fear and grief. This makes Sebastian start having doubts, but when he discovers Sophia won't stop crying, he gifts her Anna's necklace. This causes another flashback to start. Esteban and his followers were on the streets forcing people to open their eyes to free them, and Sebastian did his best to protect Anna from the sound of death by keeping her in the apartment with music. Back in the present, Sebastian keeps seeing Anna around, which confirms she's an apparition and not real. Claire tries to bond with Sebastian, reminding him that the entity uses their loved ones to manipulate him at the same time Anna's apparition keeps talking to him. This makes his doubts worse. Suddenly Roberto passes out because his wound is infected, so Octavio, Sebastian, and Claire begin investigating the building to find medicine. In a room with an open window, Sebastian sees Anna again and tells Octavio to come over, claiming the window is closed. Octavio comes while uncovering his eyes and sees the entity, causing him to immediately end things for himself. This time, Sebastian can't see the light emanating from Octavio's body because of the doubts he's started to harbor. Things begin to shake as Anna urges Sebastian to take off Claire's blindfold, but thankfully Claire drags him out of there before it gets worse. They go back to the couple and Claire shares what she's found in the bathroom with Roberto while Sebastian tries to decide if listening to Anna or Sophia. Later, the few remaining members continue their journey through the city toward Montjuic. Sebastian notices there are bodies with Esteban's mark all over the place and suddenly they find their way blocked by a seer on a bike. The group tries to run away, but the seer hits Roberto and Isabel, making them fall. Knowing there's no escape, the couple removes their blindfolds to die together before the seer can take them. Noticing the entity is coming, Sebastian drags Claire and Sophia into a safe building. Claire finally notices that Sebastian's goggles aren't actually dark, meaning he's a seer too and he killed the others. She immediately takes Sophia and they run away, so Sebastian chases them after Anna keeps urging her to kill them. Claire and Sophia run upstairs and reach the roof, but Sebastian corners them and pushes Claire before reaching for Sophia's blindfold. However before he can take it off, he sees Anna again and notices she's bleeding. This makes him feel guilty over his actions, and Sebastian ends up hugging Sophia instead while another flashback takes over. Months ago, Sebastian and Anna were in the apartment celebrating her birthday when suddenly, someone broke in and knocked Sebastian out. When he woke up, he was on the roof with Anna, Esteban, and his followers, who forced Anna to open her eyes and die to the entity. After watching his daughter die, Sebastian looked at the entity too and suddenly Anna's apparition appeared next to him, urging him to free more people. It turns out seers are alive because the entity uses them to get more victims. Back in the present, Sebastian rescues Claire, then to earn her trust once again, he tells her about Anna and explains he's snapped out of it now, so he swears to protect them. At that moment, the seers break into the building, and the trio tries to escape through the roof. A woman comes after them and engages in a fight with Sebastian, trying to ruin his eyes. However Sebastian is stronger and pushes her away, causing her to fall and die. Afterward the trio makes it to the streets and steals a car to escape just in time before the seers can break through the windows. However Esteban and his people have their own vehicles and start chasing them through the city. Sebastian drives as fast as he can while ignoring Anna's ghost, and when they reach the cable car tower, they leave the vehicle and Sebastian makes it explode to kill a few seers that catch up to them. Then Sebastian tells Claire to take Sophia and go on while he holds off Esteban. 
As the men argue over philosophy, Claire leads Sophia up the old stairs and Sophia almost falls through a broken step, but thankfully Claire picks her up just in time. There's no way to do this while blindfolded, so Claire decides to risk it and take hers off. When they finally make it to the top, Claire discovers that the cable cars are not operational. Thinking quickly, she rings a large bell to create vibrations, luring the entity towards them. As the creature arrives, the surrounding environment begins to tremble, including the cable cars. Claire covers her eyes again as the entity desperately tries to entice them by mimicking the voices of their loved ones, but when Sophia is about to fall, Claire saves her just in time. Meanwhile on the ground, Sebastian sees Anna walk through the car on fire and attacks her to get rid of this painful vision, only to discover it's Esteban and he stabs him with an iron rod. Esteban immediately stabs Sebastian back, and both men keep pushing their weapons not to let the other go. Up in the tower, Claire concentrates with Sophia in her arms and jumps into one of the cable cars, landing safely and finally getting to escape. Esteban dies from the stab wounds and so does Sebastian but first, he sees the cable cars moving, so he dies in peace knowing he helped his friends. Moments later, Claire and Sophia reach the castle and are met by the military. They discover there is a whole community living here, and Sophia finally gets to reunite with her mother. Meanwhile Claire is taken to a laboratory, where she undergoes some blood tests. Claire questions the other researchers about the purpose of the tests and they explain that they have been attempting to find a chemical indicator of trauma and precisely determine the emotions targeted by the entity. The goal is to develop an antibody that would provide immunity against the creature. Sometime later, researchers inject the antibody into rats and place their cages inside a containment room. During this process, a seer that appears to be one of the experimental subjects is lying in bed. Suddenly, a menacing growling sound emerges from the containment room, and the seer desperately demands to see it. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. So feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one, bye.